Hello physios, are you still looking at the MRI reports first before looking at the MRI scans and ignoring the MRI scans just to look at the ACL continuity? So this video is for you because today I will teach you how to track down the entire normal ACL continuity on the MRI scan and at the same time I will also teach you how to look at the complete tear of the ACL ligament on the MRI itself. Now, after spending 4-5 to five minutes in this video by yourself you will be able to track down the entire ACL continuity without any help. At the same time in the end I will also ask a question and let me see who can answer it perfectly. So without any further delay let's start the video. So as you can see this is a knee MRI scan which is a sagittal view. Okay, so we have different views for the knee MRI like coronal and axial but today I will teach you the ACL continuity on the sagittal view itself. So let us start with the bony part this is your entire femur the distal part of the femur and this is your cartilage that you see. This is your patella region and here we can appreciate the entire tibia now, As you can see we have soft tissues as well but we are not going to focus on soft tissues we are talking about the ACL today and this is your cordyceps tendon attaching to the patella and this is the lower pole of patella and now the patella tendon is inserting over the tibial tuberosity. So this is the entire length of your patella tendon which is in black color. Now, as you can see I am scrolling down to the MRI sequence and we are able to appreciate on the posterior aspect of the femur we can appreciate a black thin thread like structure which is your ACL. So it is a hyper intense signal, hyper intense means black in color inserting over the anterior aspect of the tibia. So again starting from the posterior aspect of the femur inserting over the tibia. Now while we are scrolling down again we can appreciate there is one more thread like structure thick band which is your PCL which is your posterior crochet ligament starting from here and ending towards the posterior aspect of the tibia. So they are almost forming a crisscross formation as you can see. This is a crisscross formation in between which is your ACL and PCL ligament. So now let us move a little bit down as we can see while moving downwards we can definitely appreciate two triangular structures over here. So these are your menisci. So they look black in color. So this was about the lateral meniscus. Now we are moving towards the medial aspect of the knee joint. So while moving towards the medial side, you can definitely appreciate these are the medial menisci. So now we are going to look at the different sections and the different slices of the MRI because whenever patient comes to you, they always give you the MRI scans in this format with these slices. So on the first image, as you can see, here we are not appreciating any ACL or PCL ligament. So we will be moving forward one by one this is your femur and this is your tibial aspect and this is your patella so we'll be moving one by one so on to the other image now we can see a little bit of acl continuity which is visible to us hyper intense signal this one so this is your acl now to the next image so now you can see on the other image this is your entire acl very beautifully thick black in color starting from the posterior aspect of the distal femur and attaching to the anterior aspect of the tibia so this is your entire ACL ligament. Now a little bit part of the PCL is also appreciable onto the posterior aspect. Now onto the other image as you can see the ACL is now disappeared and on this slice we can definitely see the entire PCL continuity which is very beautiful black in color. So this is a normal ACL as well as a normal PCL ligament. Now let us see how does a complete tear look like on the MRI image so as you can see we have different slices over here so now we'll be covering one by one so this is your image number one let us zoom over here so this is your entire femur that we are appreciating over here and then we have is the tibia now onto the ligamentous aspect we are already able to appreciate the pcl but acl is still not visible now let us look at the other image here again the pcl looks very beautiful black in color but still we are not able to find the acl so it is missing now you can also appreciate some cracks over here and some bony edema Looking onto the other aspect or the other image, we can definitely appreciate the proximal part of the ACL is still visible, but rest of the part is not visible. That means it is not intact while the PCL is very much in a good shape. Now looking onto this image, we can definitely appreciate the proximal attachment again for the ACL, but the middle attachment, if you look at this is your middle part. So the middle part is not visible and the lower part is also not visible. Now here we can also appreciate a black opacity and some bony edema is also visible through these cracks. That means there is a detachment of the ACL ligament which has created the bony edema. Now looking onto this image we can definitely appreciate the bony edema present over here as well as the ACL is still not visible to us and this is your articular damage that these normal smoothness is not there. 
so in the entire sequence we can see we are not able to find the acl and this is how the complete tear looks like now we still have two more images in which i have focused the menisci region over here so on to the first image as you can see here we have is the anterior horn and this is your posterior horn of the medial meniscus so these are the two meniscus now do let me know in the comment section comparing the last two images is there any abnormality that you see in the meniscus region that you can point out so thank you for watching this video till the end if you like the video do subscribe my channel physio alchemy at the same time let me know in the comment section what are the other topics you want to learn from my side